We're Kels and Jay, and after spending months to build out our dream tiny home on wheels, our van build is finally move-in ready. Well, mostly. We're still waiting for our toilet to come. A little concerning. After living in a 36-foot school bus, downsizing to a 22-foot van is proving a little more challenging than we originally anticipated. There's a lot of stuff! Join us today as we finish up some projects wow. and try to fit our entire lives into 83 square feet. Morning, you guys. I feel like we're at the point in the build where we're trying to make everything perfect and everything is not ever going to be perfect, but it's time we move into this thing. It's time we finish it. So what I've been doing for the past like week or so, which has been a nightmare, but I know it'll be worth it in the end, is I've been going around and sanding these edges and finishing them with poly. So we're, we're not going for like the basic, just like painted cabinet look. We're gonna have some nice natural finished. Just sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> some nice natural finished plywood on there as well which is taking a lot longer but again it'll be worth it in the end haven't been filming it much because it's boring and i don't want to bore you guys as always but i'll show you some of that today as i continued sanding jay finished up adding some trim and started framing out our back window Later that day, we brought Pippa to the van for the first time. You're such a good girl. What do you think of the van? She comes first always, and it's important that we slowly get her used to the space. I have a feeling that's going to be one of her favorite spots. Can you put this way? <sighs> Daddy, what did you build for me? <laughs> so that's going to be the bed. All right, you guys, today's the day we start finally moving in. It's not 100% done, but it's close enough. And you don't really realize what you need exactly until you're moved in and you see different things that you kind of forgot about. So before we can move in, we need to make a list. There's still quite a few things to do before we can get in and get settled. So Concentration. All right, it's getting a little bit later on in the day. The list is coming along. We've only got to cut out the front window, which I've actually already cut it out. I've just got to install the panel, trim out the lights. I need to get some like super glue or something yeah, for that. Uh oh. <laughs> False alarm, the neighbors were having a fire. It's always scary when you first start using your lights and stuff for the first time. Yeah. Even though I trust Jai, you just never know. So, left on the list, I'm gonna trim out the back window. Let's do it. Things are a little tricky around here now the bed form platform's in. Now the bed platform is in. Hey 
guy just hanging out in bed. Does he? It's too much. Yeah. It just looks too much. We're gonna put something a little simpler as the truck. Okay, with that we are putting a halt to this evening's proceedings. Because we're not moving in today. So yeah, I guess a little ambitious. Today is not the move-in day, <laughs> but tomorrow is the move-in day. So tomorrow morning we'll come down here. Kelsey's already started, but we'll get a very, very good clean on the van. And then we'll move in. After a deep clean, it was pretty late, so we decided to hold off just one more day before finally officially moving into the van the next morning. So I just thought I would come down here and enjoy the last few minutes of being in the van empty without any of our stuff in it yet. I remember this feeling like when we first moved into the bus and you're just like, oh, it's not ready, I need this, I need that. But I feel like you need to just move in and it's gonna be a little uncomfortable for a few days. I mean, we don't have everything done. There's so much more we do actually wanna do, but it's livable. I feel like when you're living this way, like you're never gonna live in a conversion that's 100% done. And you just kinda gotta dive in, you know? The only thing that is a little concerning is we're still waiting for our toilet to come. So we're gonna be true van lifers for a little bit. We ordered this revolutionary toilet called the Cuddy, and I know I sound ridiculous saying it's a revolutionary toilet. And I never thought I would get so excited about toilets in my life, but it's apparently gonna be like one of the best toilets ever. So we returned the nature's head the nature's head was just too big. If you guys remember, Jay had the realization that he will not be able to sit on the toilet as he goes number two. It's gonna be like I'm sitting in an airplane seat. So you're gonna stand and poop? Oh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> and so after that realization, we returned the toilet, ordered the cuddy, and as we wait for it to come in, it's about a few months out. This is our current solution. Gotta look down a little bit. There you go. A good old Home Depot bucket. And before you guys shit on us, what is a composting toilet anyways? It's really just a bucket with compost in it. This is just a temporary solution. But yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I'm gonna finish my coffee and then Jay is finishing up a workout. And it's time to move into the van guts. It's time. <laughs> Alright guys, struggling a bit more than we thought. We have a lot of stuff. And not a lot of space at all. Like it's like... Ah, oh, this is completely different to the bus. So it's going to be like a puzzle. Probably going to have to be getting rid of quite a few more things. We'll figure it out. Put it into perspective. Each one of those things up there only fits one cube. And how many cubes do we have? One, two, three. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Oh no. So we're just gonna have to condense everything down. Uh, store things, or I don't even know. Figure it out. Figure it out as we go. Moving along and I'm picking up speed. I'm singing. Alright, 
moving stuff in, making progress. Now is the real fun part. Done. We're sleeping in here tonight. Our bed is there. It's a big bed. It's nice. And just like that, we've moved out of the apartment. Kind of. We still have some stuff here that we have to come back and we have to come back and clean. But we're sleeping in the van tonight, and that's all that matters. I'm so excited. Even though it's in the driveway. But it's still, it's still exciting. Even like when we just put the mattress in, it just, everything just all came together. It was like a really weird feeling. When the I think it's happening. Like when the mattress is in, it's like real. So yeah, we're gonna treat ourselves to some takeout, I think, and go sleep in the van for the first time. With Pippa's. With Pippa's. So this is the current state of the van. Jay just went to go pee. So, a lot to do. But now we have a fire under our butt because we know what needs to be done to live comfortably. Until then, it's just going to be fun figuring it out and living in this mayhem. And also, look at my side. Do you notice anything? You chose that side. No, I asked if I could go there and you said no. You chose you that You said side. you don't fit on this side because of the wall. I lay down, please. So this is something I have to get used to, but it's not that bad. I squirm a little bit, so I'm going to try not to bang my legs. I'm very happy. But yeah, I'm very happy, and you know who's very, very happy is Pippa's. But yeah, all right, we're going to go to bed and get some sleep in my sister's driveway. First night. Good night. Hey guys, future me here from Van Life. Ooh. So before we get into the sillies, we just wanted to share something with you guys that's really important to us. So lately we've been using a VPN or a virtual private network, which allows us to connect to the internet through an encrypted tunnel to ensure privacy and protect sensitive data. We recommend going with Webroot's VPN app, and with this app, you can use just one account across multiple devices to make sure you're always safely navigating the web. So now, as we prepare to travel and work from our van all across the country, it's really nice to know that our internet connection will always be secure, no matter what. Thanks to Webroot for sponsoring this video. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the video. The sillies. <laughs> it's finally time. Oh, that man's looking at me. It's time! We're moving into the van! Woo! They think I'm crazy and they're running the other way. Now is the real fun part. <laughs> what? You can't see my head, can you? There's so many windows in this place. This is awesome! And I can put one of my toys over here, and he can hang out with me on this window, and then I can put one of my other toys over here on this window, and there's so many possibilities! <laughs> Pippas, we all have to downsize. You have to choose. You can't bring all of your toys. Pippas, I'm talking to you. You think that? No, you love when I say that. <laughs> Pippas, on other news though. Let's get this straight. Pippas is low. We're in the van now, so if I say excuse me, it means move. Oh. 